This is a response to some of the comments that people left on my previous video about this topic where I talked about the fact that Deontay Wilder only got 2.4 million viewers for his fight against Johan Dupar in his defense of his WBC heavyweight title. And I said that that number was pitifully low in a country of 300 million people. And some people replied with comments saying, that's actually a decent number. Are you retarded? Uh, other people said it's because of college football, you don't understand American sports and all this kind of stuff. And to those people, I say this. You didn't listen to what I said in that first video properly and you did not understand the point that I was making, which is incredible to me because I made the point very, very clear and easy to understand. But let me just reiterate what I said and break it down for you guys who have trouble understanding basic concepts. Now, I'm not trying to be rude to the people who are being perfectly uh, polite towards me and saying it's because of college football and they weren't trying to tell me I don't know this or I don't know that or I'm retarded. I'm not being rude to you guys. But the point I'm making is, if you go back to the 80s, if you go back to the Muhammad Ali era in the 70s, go back to the early 80s, Sugar Ray Leonard, Thomas, Tommy Hearns, Larry Holmes and all these kind of guys, when... Big time boxing was still occurring on primetime network television in the, in the US. College football or no college football, those guys were getting tens of millions of viewers for their world title fights. Each and every time, tens of millions. But yet today, you're trying to tell me that college football is seen as more important than the World Heavyweight Championship. That proves my point. That proves exactly how far professional boxing has fallen in America. The World Heavyweight Championship is seen as less important than college football. I mean, we're not talking about the NFL here. We're not talking about the Super Bowl. We're talking about college football being more popular than the World Heavyweight Championship. There hasn't been an American fighter that's held the WBC World Heavyweight title for God knows how long. Who was the last person? Holyfield? Was it even Holyfield that had it? Let me think now. Yeah, it was Holyfield that had it. He was the last person to have it before Deontay Wilder. The last American. So that's a long, long time. And this was the first world heavyweight title fight in the US to be on network television since 1985. And it can only draw 2.4 million in a country of 300 million people. And you don't see the problem there. When college football is seen as far more important than the World Heavyweight Championship, this could have never happened in the 70s and 80s. It could have never happened because boxing back then in America was strong. There's no way that college football or no college football, there's no way that you get even a Larry Holmes fight, particularly early on in Holmes's reign as heavyweight champion. Uh, there's no way that you get a Sugar Ray Leonard fight, a Muhammad Ali fight, world heavyweight title fight, getting only 2.4 million viewers on network TV. Impossible. This perfectly illustrates my point of how boxing in America has died a death. It is really, it's not even a, a niche sport. It's smaller than that in America. All boxing is now, and, and this is something I've heard, for example, Steve Bontz talk about. Steve Bontz talked about the fact that when you fight on undercards a lot of the time, on a big pay-per-view show in the United States, the fighters on there are getting less money. This is incredible, all right? Think about this, especially if you're from the UK. Think about what I'm about to say. This is what Steve Bontz said. He said that the fighters on the undercards of a lot of these big pay-per-view shows are making less money or sometimes a similar amount of money as fighters who are fighting in the York Hall, Bethnal Green in London. The York Hall is like a tiny arena which shows just local fights 
most of the time in the UK. Local domestic level fights. And those kind of guys are getting similar money or sometimes more money than guys that are fighting on big pay-per-view shows in Vegas. That shows you how far American boxing has fallen in terms of its popularity. Because what you have in American boxing now is an extremely top-heavy uh, situation where you've got a few pay-per-view stars at the top making money and everyone else is making nothing. Because unless you're a pay-per-view star, generally speaking, the American public don't give a shit about you. They just don't care. Whereas in the UK and in other countries where boxing is still you know, there or thereabouts. It's not quite mainstream, but it's still doing fairly well. Even if you're not a pay-per-view star, you can still get a lot of people coming to your shows. You can still get an, quite a decent following. And because of that, you're going to be getting better money than a lot of these guys in the US who may be better fighters than you, maybe fought better opponents than you. But because there isn't the first to watch boxing in America that there used to be. You're just not going to get the kind of money and exposure that guys in the UK would get. That is sad. So again, to you people who think I don't understand what I'm talking about, no, you don't understand what I'm talking about. You didn't understand the point I was making in the first video. 2.4 million in a country of 300 million? Are you kidding me? As I said in the previous video, the UK has got less than quarter the population of the United States. But yet you put a world heavyweight title fight with a British heavyweight champion, world heavyweight champion on in the UK. I don't care what sport's on at the same time, you are going to get massive viewing figures, way more than 2.4 million. In a country which, like I keep saying, has got less than a quarter of the population of the US. What in the world has happened to boxing in America? <sighs> terrible, 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 terrible. So, you know, as <laughs> I have to reiterate the point again because it's like people don't listen. The college football thing is irrelevant. Since when did college football become more important than the World Heavyweight Championship? This ain't the NFL, this ain't the Super Bowl. This is college football. This ain't the NBA playoffs or whatever. This is college football. And it's more important than the World Heavyweight Championship that hasn't been on network television since 1985. Come on, people. It's sad to see because, as I said before, America used to be the home of boxing. You know, I remember staying up in the 80s and 90s watching all the big fights. Live from the States, Caesars Palace, when they used to fight in the outdoor arena and all that. And, you know, Madison Square Garden, obviously in Atlantic City, New Jersey, all over America. They were having these big shows and it's like those fighters were household names in America. But now it's like nobody knows who the hell the American fighters are. I mean, look at Andre Ward. He does have a following in Oakland. But outside of Oakland, who the hell knows Andre Ward in the United States? Nobody knows the guy. No one knows him. That's incredible. This guy's got a gold medal. He's one of the pound for pound best fighters in the world. <sighs> you know what? Most American boxing fans probably think he's just a commentator. <laughs> I'm talking about the casual boxing fans. I don't mean it. Most of, the guy, most of you guys watching this video obviously know who he is. But in terms of the general American public, most of them probably just think Andre Ward's a commentator, an announcer. They don't even realize he's a fighter. <laughs> Damn, man. American boxing is dead in terms of popularity. Obviously, there's still great fighters in the States. but And also, one of the points that someone did raise, which I think is a valid point in the comment section to my previous video about this, is they said that Mayweather has helped to kill American boxing and to some extent I agree and I've covered this in previous videos because as I say American boxing is extremely top heavy now 
you've got a few pay-per-view stars who they're the only people that anyone pays attention to and pretty much the rest of American boxing is totally ignored by the majority of the public. It's only the pay-per-view stars that anyone pays attention to. And when those pay-per-view stars fight, you know, namely Mayweather being the biggest one, when they fight, the product which is sold to the public is seen as representative of the whole of boxing. It's seen as What's the what's the word I'm looking for? It's seen as like, uh, you know, the, the the way they perceive a Mayweather fight is the way the casual fans are going to perceive the whole of boxing a lot of the time. They think that boxing is just one guy running around, holding, jabbing, low volume, no action, no knockouts, no knockdowns. They're going to perceive the whole of boxing to be like that. And when they, when they see all this hype surrounding the Mayweather fight, and then the guy just runs around and jabs and pot shots for 12 rounds and there's no real excitement, they're not going to be thirsty to go watch boxing in their local area if they think that that is the best boxing has to offer. So, yeah, I agree. Mayweather and this whole Mayweather era has definitely hurt boxing in terms of its popularity because with all the hype surrounding Floyd fights, when these casual fans end up watching the fight or paying their $60 or more for the pay-per-view and it's so anticlimactic, that's just going to put people off. So he's definitely got something to do with it, but it's deeper than that. The pay-per-view situation in America has you know, been a big culprit and that's why I applaud Al Heyman for at least trying to get big-time boxing back onto free-to-air network television in the United States, but he's got a seriously tough job on his hands, judging by the Deontay Wilder figures. My days, terrible. In a country of 300 million people, only 2.4 million views, college football is seen as more uh, important than the World Heavyweight Championship. That is sad. <laughs> It never used to be like that. Maybe some of these people telling me I don't know what I'm talking about are young kids. I don't know. Or maybe they're just not long-time boxing fans. But it never used to be like that in the States. Back in the days when there was Larry Holmes and Sugar Ray and Muhammad Ali and all them people on network television, they were doing tens of millions and millions of views. And college football weren't getting in the way. It could never get in the way because boxing was so big in the States back then. Anyway, <laughs> this video was just to clear all that up for those who didn't get it the first time. I'm out.